Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to conclude our little adventure with the region's petrol lighter and see the results of dipping it off into the 30% concentrated vinegar. Work that mechanism back and forth a few times here. Make sure that that vinegar is getting circulated through there. So it shouldn't be too much to re-wicking this and since we such a small tank we'll just go ahead and use cotton balls here to do it. I'm going to go ahead and pull all of this out of here. Oh, <laughs> say that like it's a, like it's substantial. It is packed in there pretty tight though, so that's a good thing. If you enjoy watching repair videos about old petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video that you're watching. Tell your friends about the channel. Hit that share button. Send the link off in a text, email, post it on social media, however it is that you communicate with folks nowadays. Yeah, definitely rust. Pretty nasty. Well, since there's rust in there, we might as well go ahead and put that off in the vinegar, too. Don't see any in there, so we won't mess with that. And that gives something to compare with it. Maybe if we can see a difference in the finishes. Leave any comments or questions below the video. We would also appreciate it if you would follow and like us across all the social media platforms. That'll be Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and of course eBay. Go ahead and get the bottom of the tank ready. Follow Dependable Flame and DependableFlame.com, especially on eBay, so you get the notifications there when we have those new penny start auctions yeah, for charity. Just about perfect for one cotton ball. So got a little distracted last night and did not get back to this. So I have not looked in here since I cut off the camera and it's probably been 24 hours or so. So we'll see if we've made any progress here with our obstructed flint tube. There we go. It'll come out of there now. Yeah, so I believe that is cleared out now. We'll go ahead and rinse it out again in the vinegar and then go and flush it out real well with some water. Don't forget to check out DependableFlame.com's eBay store where 10% of every purchase, 10% of every listing benefits HDSA 
Huntington's Disease Society of America. And we have three penny start auctions each month where 100% of those listings benefits HDSA. Go ahead and go rinse it. Well, that took long enough. So I'm going to go ahead and re-wick this with a copper braided wick. And looks like one cotton ball will probably suffice there. And I think I will, which goes, yeah, I think I'll just wad the wick up and leave it in there. So that's going to go back with. There is our wand, or whatever you would refer to it, that you can pull out of these regions. So, lit. And if you like, pull it out. Light your pipe. That's, I'm probably going to cut that down. Anyway, so the whole idea here was regions lighters, with the, which the 1954 repair manuals say are not worth repairing because they're too cheap and easily replaceable but not so easily replaceable today they are riveted together and so not simple to disassemble if possible I think it's probably possible but I don't know how much effort I want to spend disassembling something that may not necessarily go back together or that you can't screw back together you just kind of fit back together anyway that's where we're working from here took and stripped it all out and let it set overnight in some 30% concentrated vinegar guess I should test this and see <clears throat> I blew it out a while ago but I didn't actually test once I got in here to make sure that that flint tube is clear well I don't have my oh here's here it is couldn't find a little rod so this ought to tell us whether or not that flint tube is clear. So it looks like it is. Yeah. Now we'll see if it's clean enough. If I got that cleaned out well enough. This is my first time just setting a whole entire lighter off into that vinegar like that. So I don't know. Put a flint in here and find out. Thing looks dry enough up there. I have before 
put a couple of these off in some of this vinegar and it destroyed them just to go back just put replacing the flint that may seem like a simple thing but I get questions like that underneath the videos so there's the flint flint tube back in there So seems a little weak here on that side and I don't, once again I don't know what you would do about that it's just kind of a the whole mechanism kind of clunky so we'll fuel it up it is sparking and the flint tube was completely obstructed so the vinegar cleared that out and didn't seem to do any damage to the finish or to anything else. Of course we removed the wick, the wadding, and replaced those when we were done. Um, I didn't put the whole insert in there. I can't remember now. The bottom part I didn't put in it. The top part I did. So anyway, we'll go ahead and fill this up and see how it lights. So I got just enough in there to overfill it. I also used the vinegar to um, clear a extra flint compartment in a fuel screw. And I just wasn't thinking at the time to run the camera. So that's another thing I have used it for. And as soon as I run across another one, um, I'll get that out there as well. But for the time being, this was our project today. And it doesn't look any worse to wear for it. The flint tube was obstructed. Now it is not it didn't spark now it does you couldn't light a cigarette off of it now you can't until next time